Welcome to the Blue Star Guided Training Series, Blue Star Mobile. Blue Star Mobile is your tool for servicing orders. The app can be installed on Android, iOS, and Windows devices. To install or upgrade, go to the device's app store and search for Blue Star Mobile. If this is the first time Blue Star Mobile is being installed on the device, choose Install. If you have a moment, please give us a 5-star rating while at the App Store. Once the app is installed, you will need to enter a device name. The device name should identify the user and the device. For example, Eric Android identifies the user and device. Or if you plan to install it on two devices, maybe name them Eric Android Tablet and Eric Android Phone. Blue Star Mobile largely runs offline, with a few features requiring you to be online. If the function requires you to be online and you are offline when the page is loaded, its button will be gold in color. Clicking on a gold button will make Blue Star Mobile check if the device is now online, and if so, will enter that feature. Whenever an online feature is trying to be assessed when the device is offline, you will get a pop-up letting you know you need to be online to access the feature. After the device name is entered, you can log in. The device must be connected to the Internet the first time you log in. After logging in, if connected to the Internet, the app will download your company data and scheduled orders. Once company data is finished, close the window. Next, order data is synced. Close this window when finished. After syncing, you will be brought to the day management screen. From here, enter the vehicle, odometer reading, and starting location. The start date action must be chosen before you are able to open an order. If you have already started your day, you will be brought to the home screen. From the home screen, you can access day management, schedule, and the current order if you have started work on one. You can choose end day, although this is not required. You can also change vehicles. Upon choosing Change Vehicles, you will be prompted for the mileage of the old vehicle, the new vehicle ID, and the mileage of the new vehicle. Choose the starting and ending locations for your day in the drop-down menu. These are set up by default by your Blue Star Administrator in the Setup Users menu, Applications Users form. You can input these according to your company policy. Your choice depends on whether your company considers your day started at home, at the branch office, or at your first stop. The selection might even vary from day to day, again, depending on company policy and pay plans. The option to upload a receipt allows you to take a picture with your device to send to the office. To navigate to the menu, select the button with three lines in the upper right corner. Current Order will take you back to a currently open order. Schedule opens the Schedule screen showing the orders to be serviced and orders serviced after the last sync. Day Management opens the Day Management screen. The tool section contains options for manual syncing and support tools. We will look more at this later. Locations opens the web page for the Tech Portal when connected to the Internet. Requests takes you to the Request System, a powerful communication and accountability tool. Requests are specific tasks that are created and assigned to someone to complete. Requests should be worked and closed out by the assigned deadline. Requests can be made in the field or the office with Blue Star Mobile. Requests, unlike orders, are not scheduled and do not require a location. They can have a location, but it isn't required. The request system is covered more extensively in another training video. Leads allows you to quickly add a lead so it can be assigned to a salesperson. Leads are a convenient special form of a request. Logout logs you out of the app. The Tech Portal is an online component of Blue Star Mobile. Think of the Tech Portal as a website primarily for field personnel. From the Tech Portal, you have access to your list of customers, scheduling tools, location, and order creation, and much more. Blue Star Mobile automatically logs you into the Tech Portal. 
details of the tech portal are available in a separate training module. Sync Company Data will manually download company data. This should be done only at the direction of support. Sync Orders will manually upload and download your orders. Upload a document allows you to use the device camera to upload a receipt or work log to the office. Upload activities should only be done at the direction of support. Upload all completed orders will upload all completed orders including orders that have already been uploaded. This should only be done at the direction of support. Upload not uploaded orders will manually upload orders that have not yet been uploaded. Check version will check the installed version to make sure it is an acceptable version. View orders that will be sent, view failed orders, email orders that will be sent, and email failed orders should only be done at the direction of support. The buttons under Data Cleansing should only be done at the direction of support and require a password. Once the day has started, your schedule is shown. To navigate the schedule, enter a date in the box or use the arrow buttons. The arrow moves the schedule one day. Choosing all orders gives you all the orders, not just for a particular day. This can be helpful when you are working ahead or to make sure you didn't miss any. By default, Bluestar always downloads all orders older than the current date and 18 days into the future. Your Bluestar administrator can change this configuration if needed. The Map button opens Google Maps window showing all the locations due for service, as long as the device is connected to the Internet. Add Event is where you can add an event, like lunch, sales call, or personal time. Follow company policies on when to add events. Search allows you to search the schedule for a specific order. All orders will display a list of all scheduled orders, including those from previous months. Current order will conveniently take you back to a currently open order. Under the last location on the schedule, you can see how many orders you have completed and how many you have in total, as well as the dollar value completed and total dollar value to be worked. Touch any part of an order to open it. Once the order is open, you have several options. The phone number listed is that of the primary location contact. Back to Scheduler returns you to the Schedule screen. Start Work allows you to time in on an order. Location is the physical address of the service. If online, a map will show an option to Get Directions. The Lead section allows field employees to quickly add a lead so someone in the office can assign it to a salesperson. The Request system is used to communicate certain things to your users. Reschedule allows you to change the date and time the order is scheduled. Selecting Print generates a PDF for you to print. The Contact section will show all contacts associated with the order. The order balance is the cost or value of the service order. The tech share is the amount the technician will get credit for. The tech share is usually the same as the order balance, except in the case of multi-tech or prepaid service. Order Sales Tax, the total amount of tax for the order. Location Previous Balance is the amount owed by the location before this service. New Location Total Balance is the cost of the current service added to previous balance for the location. Location Balance As Of is the date and time the mobile device checked the previous location balance. If online, you can select the Update button below to get the most current location total. Services list the services to be completed on the order. Notes list the various notes for both the order and the location. Timesheet shows the history of starting and stopping work on that particular order. Order history lists previous order information for the location. Add tech location notes are notes you can leave for yourself to remind you of details about the location, such as dog is named Spot. Mary's birthday is July 8. You can edit this upon future orders. The Reset Order button is used to reset the order to its original state. This can be useful when the order is timed in by mistake or the customer requests the service to be completed another time after you time in. 
The order must be paused to reset. Once Start Work is selected, more buttons appear. You will notice the Start Work button has changed to Pause Work. Scan opens the inspection point scanning window. Materials opens the section for documenting the applied material. Conditions is a list of commonly found issues related to pest entry and harborage. This page also lists the weather conditions for the location. You can also enter a custom condition entry if the issue is not listed. You can attach an image to each condition using the camera on the device. Packages are a list of questions or directions that are present on orders for locations that belong to a parent. For example, a fast food restaurant chain may require you to record that you checked in with the manager on duty at each location. Responses to instructions or questions included in packages can be optional or required, true, false, yes or no, or NA, and text box. Payment is an area for recording any payments you receive. Comments is an area for you to record a description of the service provided as well as information to relay to the customer. Signatures enables you to capture a signature from the contact at the location. Note, if the location has a signature required checked, then you must capture a customer signature before close order. The Site Plan section is a tool you can use to draw a diagram. You can also drag and drop inspection points onto the drawing. When Materials is open, the default view is Recent Choices. Select the category and the material you are using. Here, you can document the amount of product used, the application method, and the target pest. Choosing the Selected button will show the materials used. Conditions are things that are conducive to pet problems, but are the responsibility of the customer to resolve. The Select Conditions button will show a list of system conditions. These are maintained by your company's Blue Star Administrator in the Setup Conditions form. You can also enter your own conditions for situations where a pre-entered condition does not apply. If online, the current weather conditions are automatically entered on every order. The weather conditions are based on zip code. The Get Weather button refreshes the weather information. Any selected or enter conditions will show here. After choosing a condition, returning to the Conditions Noted screen gives you the opportunity to add an image to the condition. The Payment screen is a text box for you to enter notes about a received payment. The Comments button brings you to a text box that is used to record a description of the service work performed. Only the first 512 characters will print on the service order. The Signature button opens a page that shows the customer the service, the price before and after tax, and provides a place for the customer to sign. The Scan button brings you to the scanning page. The scanning page has a number of functions and options. Once a barcode is scanned, the device information is shown. Here, you enter the pest, the number of pests and whether the pest was caught, cited, or reported in or near the inspection point. You can also enter materials, conditions, or comments related to the inspection point. The inspection point can be updated, device type, barcode, or deleted. You can skip the inspection point by giving an explanation as to why you are unable to inspect it. For more information about inspection points and scanning, watch the Blue Star Mobile Inspection Point video. When Packages is selected, you will be offered the pre-service and post-service package items. If you have a location with a package defined, you will be reminded to read the instructions and or answer the questions, either at Start Work, Pre, or before closing an order, post. This concludes the Blue Star Mobile Training video. Please note that this video does not cover drawing nor scanning inspection points or barcodes. Those will be covered separately. If you need support, please email support at thecollaborative.com or enter a support ticket from within Blue Star. Thank you very much for your business.